In this video, I'm going to show you how to level by doing nothing at all. Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. Now, this video is about an amazing opportunity everyone has with a pre-patch event to level all their characters to max very easily, or in some cases without lifting a finger. You may have seen other YouTubers cover this event, but most of them did so in the early days of the event and just explained how the event works. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how broken this event is and how to exploit it. So I'm not going to go into much detail here, but to summarize before we get into the exploits, the pre-patch event for Dragonflight is essentially this. You beat up a whole load of endlessly respawning elementals in the middle of nowhere. For doing this, you get a ton of experience and some of the primeval essence, which can be turned in for eye level 252 gear. Look on your map for the nearest primal storm. Despite what others may have said, you don't need to have to pick up any quests if you want to participate in the event. You can just fly there and start grinding mobs with everyone else. And there are a lot of people doing this because the XP is truly fantastic. Many people have claimed you can get from 50 to 60 in under an hour, and I can confirm that. You can do that, though you will need some XP buffs, Draft of the Ten Lands, and the 18% Anniversary buff, and you'll need to tag mobs pretty aggressively. However, even doing it casually, 50 to 60 in 2 hours is quite realistic. Tagging just means using any damage ability on a mob once, so you get kill credit for that mob. Now, this is all common knowledge. Let's explore how we can take advantage of the situation. Firstly, you can increase the amount of kills you get by manipulating Custom Group Finder. And in fact, if you're on a dead realm, you'll have to do this since you'll need a lot of other players around you. The Primal Storms basically work like this. There's a relatively quiet initial phase where there's a small but steady stream of mobs to kill, an intermediary phase where a lot of mobs spawn, and a final stage where you kill a Primal Lord effectively the end boss of the event. The first and second phases are the ones you want. During the initial phases there are a lot of mobs to kill and during the final phase the Primal Lord only awards experience equivalent to one elite mob and he has a much higher HP than the other elite mobs in this event. The final stage is only for people looking to farm primeval essence for gear, not experience. You'll want to be regularly joining and leaving groups, as player numbers will fluctuate naturally, so be prepared to realm hop when player activity dies down. Now, it is important to understand you can greatly increase the amount of mobs you can tag by joining a group, since any mob tagged by a group member counts as experience for you. There is a penalty for being in a party, but the extra tags seem to compensate. You can actually take this principle a lot further and just AFK in a party and still get reasonably fast experience. In fact, as I write this, my shaman is about to finish leveling from 55 to 60, entirely AFK. Do this in a party rather than a raid. There are issues around being awarded experience in a raid. Truly decent AFK experience is pretty rare in WoW. So take full advantage of this in the next three days. And for those of you lucky enough to be able to afford multiple accounts, you can really cash in here as you can level multiple characters at once without breaking Blizzard's rules on multi-boxing. For those of you who are morally offended by leeching, please leave a hateful comment below as this helps with my YouTube social engagement metrics and gets me a ton of free traffic. Now, for those of you playing on potatoes, I must share this amazing trick from Gaiodon, who left a comment on Belular's channel. Purchase the overtuned Corgi goggles here in the Caverns of Time. You can buy these with the Time Warp badges you got from your WoW 18th anniversary event. This item makes everyone in the game appear as a Corgi, which seems to reduce lag for reasons. This trick potentially has a lot of other uses, by the way. 
Now, a few other points worth making. You want to be doing this with your graphic settings as low as possible, especially for things like spell density. There is a point at which you get so many players in one space an experience penalty kicks in. You might try joining another group via custom group finder if you notice your awarded experience becoming noticeably smaller. You can do the primal storms on any level of character. However, it doesn't seem to be especially good below level 30. There seems to be scaling issues which make it less attractive and you have problems with low mobility. Healers have an advantage here in that everyone they heal that gets a tag on a mob counts as if the healer themselves made the tag, making for a huge effective tagging radius. These videos have just one sponsor, my Patreon, where hacks too hot for YouTube get published on a regular basis. There's so much broken stuff already in Dragonflight, this is a fantastic time to join.